Hogwarts and welcome to another day in the life of me and today we're going to be taking out the Ivan 12 to see how good it is in 2024. The Ivan 12 was released back in 2020 and it's equipped with the A40 Bionic chip, a dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel wide and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. But this is also a used iPhone so the battery health is now at 80%. So it's going to be interesting to see how it holds up during the day. It's going to be a good indicator for some of you who are looking at buying a used iPhone, especially the iPhone 12 in 2024. So I'm going to be taking you guys through with me as I do my day-to-day -day activities as a content creator and university student with the iPhone 12 to see how good it really is in 2024. Now the iPhone 12 is actually the first iPhone to have 5G so it might be a good choice for some of you who are looking at buying an iPhone with a 5G that doesn't break the bank. Alright let's get into the day. Today is another busy day and I'm on a train to get to my university. On the train, I checked up on social media, Instagram, YouTube, played a couple of tracks on Spotify and wrote down some notes for the day. The iPhone 12 launched everything super smoothly and quickly, being able to jump between multiple apps with no problem. I also tried playing some Mobile Legends which ran smoothly at ultra graphics and a high frame rate. uni. I'm going to get some work done before my first class at 10.30. So I've got a bit of time and I'm going to lock in and try to get some stuff done. Today's schedule is pretty busy, especially this morning. Today is workshop day so I don't have any lectures today but arguably the workshops are more important. So I'm going to make sure that I don't miss them. My first one is at 10.30 for consumer behavior, information systems at 11.30 and finally management at 1.10. I also have to work on some content today and post some Instagram reels. So content creation will also be a bit busy today. I went back onto the iPhone 12 to check a couple messages. My friend Izzy, who is also in the same morning class as me, messaged the meetup before we went to class. Alright, it's 10.23 and I gotta get to my first class. Hi. Hi. <laughs> at 11.21, our battery percentage on the iPhone 12 is now at 80%, which is not bad. My next class is a workshop for Foundations of Digital Strategies and my friend Vince texted me to meet up before we went there. After we finished our workshop, we decided to get some lunch in town, so we walked into town and checked out a few places before we set out at Capital Market and grabbed some food. I am taking a video of the beautiful environment guys. I'm taking a video of this beautiful man over here. Huh? <laughs> I'm taking a video of this beautiful man here. Beautiful? Where? Yes. There! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just finished up lunch with my friend and I gotta go to the other campus to do my next tutorial at 110. At 12.57, the battery percentage is now at 71%. So a quick little check-in, it's currently 107. The iPad 12 is now at 68% and I just arrived to the other campus to get onto my next tutorial at 110. So I'm gonna head over there. But I just want to quickly check in. So far, iPhone 12 has been keeping up pretty well with me. Um, performance, I wouldn't say it's anything amazing. 
is pretty solid. I think it's a little bit slow here and there, but generally pretty quick and fast, responsive, and I'm pretty happy with it. Display is pretty good as well. It's a 6.1 inch OLED display. And if I'm being honest, the notch doesn't really bother me as much as I thought it would. Having used the 15 Pro with the Dynamic Island, I thought it would make a bit more of a bigger difference, but no, the notch hasn't been too disturbing to me, to be honest. And so far, so good. All right, gotta get going to my next tutorial, so I'll see you guys later. I found box out, guys. I found box out films. I'm, I'm using the worst com camera angle, by the way. Um, I love uni. I but I hate it too. Why do you guys always say I love uni? <laughs> because I love uni. I, everyone, who should, everyone who wants to go uni should go to this uni. Yeah, that's uni in New Zealand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right then. I'll catch you guys later. Yes. See you guys. Have a good tutorial. Okay. Yes, thank you, box out. <laughs> okay. See you guys. Okay guys, so it is now 306. Battery percentage is now at 58%. Uh, I let Courtney. And then we have test tomorrow, which is on until stay. And I don't even know what's going on, but it's a good buy. Yeah. First person to call me gives a upwards gets a free iPhone. Trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope I get some advice this year. I hope I'm not dying. RIP software engineering students. Give me more money. <laughs> Give me more money so that I, I can like go back to my country. <laughs> when go I stay in New Zealand. My software engineering friends had a lecture on and they asked me to join them. So I decided to come and sit with them I while I got some work done. Here I worked on a couple of scripts and posted a reel I had been working on onto my Instagram page. Make sure to follow it at Upwards. Performance on Instagram was pretty smooth, editing and adding captions were pretty quick, and I had no issues posting the video. Alright, so now it is 451. The battery is now at 33%. And I'm just gonna head down and gonna try to get a few more B-roll, shoot some shots before we go home. The iPhone 12 cameras are pretty decent in 2024. They're nothing special, but they do hold their own and look good in most lighting conditions. Video-wise, the iPhone 12 captures good details with a high dynamic range. However, the ultra wide does look a bit grainy in lower lighting conditions. On the front of the iPhone 12 is a 6.1 inch OLED display. Being the first standard iPhone to offer an OLED display, the 12 is a significant step up from older models such as the 11 and 10R. Being able to display a 2 million to 1 contrast ratio, colors and content look much better on the 12 when compared to older models. Okay, so now it is so it's 5.30 and we are sitting at 29% battery. I'm now on my way home and I'm catching the train back. On the train ride, I went back onto social media and watched a few YouTube videos. Alright, so now it's 9.20 and the battery percentage is at 4%. So we're going to go through the battery performance and see how the iPhone 12 is done throughout the day. So I did take this phone off the charger at 8.40 a.m. and currently it's 9.21. So far we've had 2 hours and 57 minutes of screen on time, so basically 3 hours, and 26 minutes of screen off time. Roughly 3.5 hours of battery usage. Keep in mind that this iPhone is on 81% battery health. But yeah, considering that I was using mostly mobile data, I was doing a few things, posting, sharing images, sending photos, I reckon the iPhone 12 did pretty good. So did the iPhone 12 in 2024 keep up? I actually honestly think that the iPhone 12 did a pretty good job in 2024. It pretty much kept up with all of my day-to-day -day activities and, and honestly, if someone gave me an iPhone 12 and told me to switch to it, I think that I will be able to use the iPhone 12 with no problems. So I'm pretty impressed with the performance, it's quick and smooth. There were a few lags here and there and some apps did relaunch. But overall, I found that the iPhone 12's performance was pretty satisfactory and I'm pretty happy with it. We do have a flat OLED display, which is great. It isn't quite the brightest, it's only 625 nits and 1200 nits at peak brightness, so it doesn't quite do well under bright environments. Now, comparing to the iPhone 13, the 13 actually feels a lot more faster than the iPhone 12. Just definitely with the multitasking, you can definitely feel that the 13 is a bit more faster than the 12. 
But that isn't to say the 12 is slow. If you do manage to find an iPhone 12 at a good price, I think this might be a good budget phone for most people. The cameras are pretty decent on the iPhone 12. They aren't anything amazing, but they do stand their own in 2024. And I do think that the iPhone 12 is a pretty good package. And I think it stands its own in 2024. So that wraps up my day in the life with the iPhone 12. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm Upwards and I'll see you guys in the next one.